Hey guys, John from FlyAmikeAlpha.com and today we are going to talk about METARs and TAFs. And you might notice this is part one of two. In this video, we are not going to get too in depth into all those crazy weird symbols and remarks you hear about sometimes and you see in the text. But we're gonna get into the very basics at a student pilot level of where you should be able to read METARs and read TAFs and understand what they mean at the basic level. And then part two, we'll dive into all those crazy weird remarks about rain beginning here and ending there and Virga and snowstorms and sandstorms and all that. So very basics today, we'll jump right into it. Key Ann Arbor Tower, right turn northbound approved, runway 24 cleared for takeoff. Rear contact, clock 0164, and back landing at 2100. So we're going to start off with METARs, and we're going to start off with one from the Punta Gorda Airport, KPGD. And we can see here that it was issued the 4th, that's the day, the first number there, at 1853 Zulu, 1453 local. And the winds were 120 degrees at 9 or knots, 9 or statute miles visibility with light rain, that's the minus RA, scattered clouds at 600 feet, broken clouds at 4,800 in overcast clouds or an overcast ceiling at 11,000 feet. Then after that we can see 21 over 19 that means the temperature was 21 degrees Celsius. Dew point was 19 that's dangerously close anytime there are three degrees or closer apart we have to worry about fog or mist and uh, low visibility. And the altimeter A2981 means altimeter Two niner point eight one, and we're going to stop there. We don't have to worry about the remarks. So those are the weather conditions that were observed at 1853 Zulu. Now it's anybody's guess what's going on right now. Weather does change, so you may want to wait for the next one to be issued. They are issued typically every hour or after a sudden change in weather. So they should be reissued. Sometimes you'll notice after the time and date stamp. Auto, A-U-T-O, and that can mean that all this information is generated automatically at an unmanned weather observation station. Not that it's any less reliable or a uh, METAR without auto is any more reliable, humans certainly still do make mistakes, but typically there's some human intervention or some human overseeing what the weather station is saying if it's missing that auto designation. Instead of auto, you may also see C-O-R, that would mean corrected, perhaps that an automated station generated bad information and said the winds were 90 knots instead of 09 knots and it was corrected by a person and they won't show you what the correction was it'll just say COR after the timestamp for corrected. Now let's talk about a couple things that pertain to our wind uh, indication there. So let's say that instead of seeing 120 at 9 knots we saw the letters VRB. Those would stand for variable and typically you'll see that when the wind speed is less than 6 knots and so they simply tell you, hey, the wind's pretty light and it's probably variable from different directions. We don't really know exactly what direction it's coming from. It's light and variable. And so that's what the VRB would stand for. Now, if you saw a wind direction like 120 and then 09 with a G, and maybe after the G you saw 21, that would stand for winds are 120 degrees at 9 knots, gusting to 21 knots. And so that's actually a pretty big difference, 9 knots and 21, but that can happen. And so that's what the G stands for, when you might have winds 12 knots gusting to 18 or something along those lines. It would be displayed as this. Well, guys, that's it for METARS Part 1. We've got METARS Part 2 as well as TAFs 1 and 2 coming up. So four separate videos that will make up this series here. METARS Part 1 and 2. You just watched METARS Part 1. Also check out TAFs, everything you need to know about those. Parts 1 and 2, they're on our playlist on our YouTube channel as well on our website, flyatmikehealth.com, in the weather course. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time.